proclamation of the word of God is in the book of Exodus chapter 20. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. We shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your fem female servant, nor, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hall hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey nor anything that is your neighbor's. The word of the Lord. Please stand for a sponsorial psalm, Psalm 19. Let our response be, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Altogether, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul the testimony of the Lord is your, sure, making wise the simple. Response. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Response. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, and righteous altogether. Response. More to be desired are they than gold, yeah, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Response. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Holy Gospel, the, the Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint Matthew, chapter 13. To you, Lord. We are reading from verse 18 through verse 23. <clears throat> Therefore, hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside, but he who received the seed on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has not he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. 
Now he who received seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares on of this world and the deceitfulness of riches took the word and he becomes unfruitful. But he who received seed on the good ground is he who hears the word. Understand it who indeed bears fruit and produce some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. In our Gospel this morning, ito yung explanation ni Jesus Christ sa parable of the sower. And I want to focus sa good ground. Ang tinatawag na good ground. Ito yung puso na parang good ground, magandang soil na nakatanggap ng, ng binhi. So yung requirements to have good, good soil or yung requirements para yung puso natin ay parang good soil. Number one is we need to hear. We need to hear the Word of God. In our first reading, narinig natin yung Ten Commandments. And when, when Jesus Christ was asked, what is the greatest commandment? Ang una niya sinabi is, Hear. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. So hear, pakinggan ninyo. I remember... I remember when I was still in high school. Nagtanong si Bishop kung sino na yung nakabasa ng buong Bible. 15 years old pala ako nun eh. There are only three people who raised their hands. And naisip ko, gusto ko maging, kas, maging isa rin dun sa nabasa yung buong Bible. So nung high school, before I graduate high school, nabasa ko yung buong Bible. And Twice ko na rin nabasa yung Bible nung college ako. So I'm proud to say na nabasa ko yung buong Bible. Pero nakakahiya na hindi ko naintindihan yung Bible. Kasi binasa ko lang. Hindi ko narinig. No? Binasa ko lang siya eh. For the purpose lang na may, pagyaba, may pagmayabang na nabasa ko yung buong Bible. And ito yung third na requirement is that we should understand. Yun pa. Hindi ko rin naintindihan. So, nabasa ko yung Bible, yung buong Bible, na hindi ko naintindihan. So, sa first reading natin, yung, 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 yung Ten Commandments, when Jesus Christ was asked na, what is the greatest, l- later on, when Jesus Christ was asked kung ano yung greatest commandment, yung Ten Commandments na to, if we understood the Ten Commandments, hindi ito puro bawal gawin ito, bawal gawin, ito gawin nyo, bawal gawin ito. If we understood it, sabi ni Jesus Christ, to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and with, your, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So basically, yung Ten Commandments pala na to, if we really understood it, it's about loving God and loving your neighbor. And yung third requirement, ang sabi niya is, to bear fruit. So the only way to bear fruit is that if we do, ginawa natin at isinabuhay natin ang magandang balita na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Ang kanyang mga commands. So we need to hear we need to understand it and we need to live out or isabuhay natin, gawin natin yung iniutos sa atin ng Panginoon. This is the only way na etong seed na itinanim sa atin ay magpamunga or yung puso natin maging good soil para itong seed na to ay magpamunga. This is the only way to hear, to understand it and to obey His commands. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.